protein bars. Today we are talking about all thing protein bars. I'm at Madison Ave Strength Lab and I want to talk about seven of the most common protein bars that I see in the market that I actually like. I'm not talking about any of the crap that I wouldn't buy and I'm not talking about any of the protein bars that you specifically have to go to a supplement shop to purchase. These are things you could find at a gas station, maybe could definitely find at a grocery store. But I've seen every single one of these at gas stations before and I've seen every single one of them. Matter of fact, I bought them all at Wigman's. So when we get into protein bars, I have a couple of considerations. First and foremost, I really only mess around with protein bars that have good macros. If it's got candy bar macros, like what is that called? Like Anabar or Anabar uh, protein bar, I don't mess with that stuff. I would just have a Reese's peanut butter cup and some whey protein. So all the protein bars in front of me, they have good macros. That's why I'm talking about it. Second of all, even though taste differs tremendously person to person, obviously, every single one of these protein bars are edible. They actually taste good. They're actually enjoyable. I wouldn't bother to talk to you about them if they weren't able to be a major seller in a retail store and then enough people liked them that I would be able to speak to them. Are there certain protein bars here that I like more than others due to taste? Yes, but I personally would eat every single one of these protein bars. And a matter of fact, I bought them the other day saying, okay, I'm gonna spend $150 on protein bars. I'm gonna end up eating them all anyway. There's only one here that I don't really like in terms of macros that much, but it's still, it actually still is close enough that I would mess around with. So gotta have macros, it's gotta have taste. I will talk to you about price, but that's not a major consideration for me when I go into these. We're definitely gonna talk about protein. Does it pass the test? If I refer to does it pass the test, it means that it has to have at least 10 grams of protein per whatever 100 calories. I also like my protein bars to have fiber, but we'll get into it when I talk about each and every single protein bar. And again, these are all protein bars that I would recommend to clients. I think they're all excellent options, but taste differs tremendously from person to person. And most of these, I'd say these six, all have excellent macros. This has good macros. Let's get into it. So starting off, I'm starting off with the number one protein bar. This is not my personal favorite, but when I look at across all clients and just people giving me feedback on Instagram, on YouTube, etc., people love Bear Bells. This product I originally saw at Trader Joe's and it has swept the nation. It's in gas stations now, it's in grocery stores all across the United States, and I feel like everybody knows about this product. They just recently sent me like some special edition cocoa hazelnut protein bar, so I've got on the good side with them. And I really respect the company. I think they have tremendous tasting protein bars that general population would like. So everyday people really enjoy this protein bar because I think it tastes as close like in texture to a traditional candy bar. The thing that I love about it, it's got great macros. 200 calories, 20 grams of protein while delivering taste. Now, in front of me, I have the chocolate dough. This is my girlfriend's favorite flavor, so she recommended that I buy it because she's the one who's probably gonna eat this bar or this box. But I also like the salty peanut. I also like the uh, cat, the creamy cashew. I really haven't had a flavor that I don't enjoy. The cookie dough, uh, pardon me, not the cookie dough, the cookies and cream, all of these protein bars I enjoy, and they have great macros. 200 calories, 20 grams of protein. I would like to see personally, in an ideal world, like, look, I understand food science is a real thing. You have to formulate these things. When you add things like fiber, it affects taste. But I would like to see a little bit more than three grams of fiber. That's how much fiber most of these bars have, personally. But again, for the taste, I just think this is like the perfect gateway protein bar. I know tons of people that don't like protein bars that really like this protein bar. So it tastes excellent. I would give it like a 10 because everybody seems to enjoy it. And I would give the macros like, really strong recommendation. I don't think it's the strongest, but it's pretty damn close. I just like to see a little bit more fiber. Bear Bells is my number one recommendation when it comes to protein bars. Okay, built bars, not the puffs. You've heard me rip apart the puffs. Look, there are two different kinds of built protein bars. Actually, they have multiple, they have like granola and all these things, but most people, when they think of this company, they think of bars and they think of puffs. Puffs are trash, guys. Puffs are made with collagen, which it does not achieve muscle protein synthesis, may not do anything for connective tissue, and has zero fiber, and just, they have a ton of sugar. I mean, they're just a garbage bar. But the bars, not the puffs, the built bars, they are my 
personal favorite protein bar on the market simply because the calorie macros insane 130 calories 17 grams of protein remember how i said uh bear bells was number one in taste built bars are number one it's just leaking out it just wants to be ate is number one in macros 130 calories 17 grams of protein six grams of fiber double the grams of fiber that that bear bell had so this is my all-time favorite and i actually really enjoy the taste this is my favorite tasting protein bar but warning disclaimer this isn't everybody's favorite taste why it's very chewy and some people go nuts over it so here here would be my standard test do you enjoy milky ways okay it might not be your go-to uh, candy bar but if you don't even like Milky Ways, like you hate the taste of it, you will not enjoy this protein bar. If that's too chewy for you, you won't enjoy it. So it's a very chewy bar and texture matters when it comes to protein bars. But again, most of these bars, not the puffs, best macros in the game, amazing taste in my opinion. And for me, this is the number one protein bar, 130 calories, 17 grams of protein, bonkers, with also six grams of fiber. This is personally my go-to protein bar. I have an affiliate code for it, Zemer10. I'll pop it up in the screen. And I do that because I love the company, even though I've openly talked about the puffs and said they're trash. So in general, I would put this as protein bar number two, but for me personally, this is my ride or die built bars. One protein bar. I have always said this is the dark horse of the protein bar segment because it's vastly under spoken about. Like this is like the sleeper pick of protein bars. But I would say, again, if I was looking at all my clientele, all the people who reach out to me on social media, this is number three in the protein bar game. Uh, taste, it's a slightly between like a Bear Bell and a Quest bar. For many people, Quest is just too stiff. For me, I can eat a Quest, but it's not my thing. This one is slightly less stiff. When it originally came out, it was a very similar duplicate to Quest, but then they reformulated it. And again, they took away fiber. Like I said before, I'm, I'm not a food scientist, but Elise who works for me is literally one. She's my number two when it comes to helping me with my coaching business. And she has a food science degree. And she'll tell you firsthand, like obviously if you add fiber, it's going to change the taste. So they took some fiber out of this product and they brought it down to make it less stiff than Quest. And for most people across the board, I think this might be, again, it's number three on my list, but I think for most people, this might be their second favorite tasting bar, just in taste alone. When it comes to macros, it just misses the test most of the time, which means it doesn't have 10 grams of protein for every 100 calories. In this case, this one in front of me, I got the peanut butter pie. That's the other thing. They have bonkers bars, like different flavors. They have crazy options when it comes to flavors. I love that about that. Having unique flavors is really cool. But 220 calories, 20 grams of protein. It nearly passed the test, so I bear with it. Eight grams of fiber, awesome. Kills it in that department. So taste, I think for most people, for taste-wise, this is number two. It's right behind Bear Bells. For me personally, it's the third best tasting. And overall, I think it's the third best protein bar. Would I like the protein to be slightly higher? Yes. The fiber is awesome. Eight grams is good enough. But I love that it has all these different tastes and people really enjoy this protein bar. So if you haven't tried one protein bar, if you haven't fell in love with the protein bar yet, try this bar out. I highly recommend it. Quest, this is the OG of the protein game. Okay, so Metrics was really like the first protein bar out there, but most people, they just didn't fuck with Metric because it tasted horrible. It's impossible to chew through. So were there protein bars on the market before Quest? Yeah, but forget about all of them. This was our first love, right? This was the girl that we fell in love with in high school. Quest is the OG of the protein bar game. It's the first one that came out. This bar, when it originally came out, people didn't believe the macros because they're like, how could a protein bar taste this good? This sucker, 180 calories, 20 grams of protein, it obliterates the test with 14 grams of fiber. And that's why most people, if they don't like Quest, it's because of that very stiff, rigid taste, which is coming from all the fiber guys. That's why it tastes so stiff. But also, that's what helps the, bonker, the macros on this thing be so bonkers because that fiber helps push down the calories because most of them are insoluble fiber. So for most of us, Quest was the first protein bar in the market, but we've kind of moved on. 
and I would say this is number four in tasting because for a lot of people, they just don't want a truly stiff protein bar, and that's me included. However, there are some flavors that I really enjoy. Here in front of me, I have oatmeal chocolate chip. I actually like their double chocolate chip. Cookie dough is a long time standby for me. And if I'm at a convenience store or something like that, I'm in a, in a crunch, I will have the Quest Bar. Now, I didn't mention it, I didn't bring it here today, but Kirkland Bar, I consider Kirkland Bar to be the same thing as Quest Bar. They have very similar macros. So we'll pop up a picture of Kirkland Bar here. You can see it. It's the same protein bar, guys. It's in fourth place as well. It's a Costco only, but they're very, very similar. But again, we gotta pay tribute to Quest. This thing, this protein bar changed the entire game, guys. So number four on my list is Quest Protein Bar. Number five, no cow. So there are two forms of no cow protein bars now. There's the dipped, and then there's just traditional no cow. I love the dipped. They taste absolutely decadent. This is a plant-based protein bar that actually tastes freaking good. This is as good as it gets, in my opinion. There's a bar out there called Aloha. The macros on it are garbage. There's a couple of them that taste good, but to me, this is the only vegan protein bar in the game because it's the only one with macros. And it always, for me, comes back to macros first and foremost. When it comes to taste, I think it's a really good tasting protein bar with really interesting flavors again. I mean, look, dieting can get monotonous. So when you have a protein bar that's putting itself out there with like really interesting, different tasting protein bars, amazing because it's gonna keep you interested. So 200 calories, 20 grams of protein, pass the test and get this, 15 grams of fiber. This sucker goes toe to toe with Quest Bar. It's not as stiff as Quest Bar, but the texture of it can be a little chalky, it can be a little different. But when you compare it to any other plant-based protein, it annihilates it. And when you compare it to most other protein bars that have good macros, I put it at number five. It's definitely number five though. When it comes to taste, it's probably even further down. I think pure protein bar probably tastes better. This Irvington bar, um, definitely the Fit Crunch, definitely tastes better. But just when it comes to pure macros and like overall, it's number five on my list. Again, great macros, bonkers fiber, it passes the test and it's really good tasting. And it's just incredible that we got to have in this day and age, you can even get a good tasting plant-based protein bar. It just, again, the days of eating only chicken, broccoli, and rice are long gone. Should the majority of your diet be things like vegetables, fruit, chicken, things, salmon, things like that? Yes, but there's room to have stuff that you enjoy and protein bars, they're a great treat. And the fact that we can get a good tasting plant-based protein bar, spectacular. Number five, no count. Number six, pure protein. This protein bar has had a cult-like following for a long time. Personally, I'm not all about it. It's not my favorite tasting protein bar, but I get it. First of all, it's available everywhere. It's really relatively inexpensive. Most of the protein bars that I went over today are somewhere around $2.50. Some are $2.40, some are $2.60. This is like a buck 50 a bar. So these are really affordable protein bars. And look, I understand if you're price sensitive, if you're shopping on a budget, amazing. The macros, I'd like to trash on them, but they're very similar to Bear Bells. 200 calories, 20 grams of protein. The reason I like to trash on them, only two grams of fiber, but that's close enough to Bear Bell. So it has good macros. It doesn't have the best macros. I don't think it has the best taste, but a lot of people love the taste. And just the fact that it's affordable and that it's so easily accessible, I think you can find it at BJ's, you can find it at Sam's, you can find it, definitely can find it at Costco. You can find it at so many different stores. I found it at Wegmans, this by Amazon. It's, it's all over the place and it's, it's a affordable product with good macros and in my opinion, good taste. I do not enjoy some of the just purely chocolate ones, but when you do something like chewy chocolate chip or the peanut butter ones, I like those bars. For me, this isn't a go-to, but I definitely bought an entire box because I'll know it eat it. Number six, pure protein bars. Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch. Okay, to be honest with you, all those other protein bars that we talked about, I bought an entire box. This sucker, I literally only bought three, okay? I, I did not wanna buy an entire box because I don't wanna have them because the macros aren't that good. The only reason this even made it onto the list is because it has some other redeemable qualities. It's really good tasting. I personally think it's a wannabe Bear Bell, even though the honest to God truth is that 
Robert Irving's uh, Fit Crunch has been around longer than Bear Bell. So the reality is, is that Bear Bell probably formulated around this bar rather than vice versa. I just think it's kind of more like a childish version. It has like little like crumbles all attached to it as compared to the Bear Bell is just a straight bar. So I think it's like a more adolescent juvenile version of Bear Bells, but very similar taste. Again, 210 calories, 16 grams of protein, one gram of fiber. So it has the lowest gram of fiber of any product we've looked at. It doesn't pass the test. Not only does it not pass the test, it really just, for a protein bar, 210, 16 grams of protein. I mean, it's like 75% of the way there. That's not good enough for me. But the redeemable qualities is you can find this protein bar everywhere and it's super affordable it's a dollar fifty so if you're price sensitive if you're new to your fitness journey this might have a time place but to me this is number seven but it's a distant number seven so again i'm at madison strength ab in larchmont new york talking about protein bars and as i went through all of them to me this is consumer's favorite bear bells my personal favorite built and i think this is a no-brainer for the top two spot I think you shouldn't sleep on one protein bar. It's very, very good. Everybody, this is the OG. We have a lot to be thankful when it comes to this. Quest, if you're looking for plant-based, it's no cow. And if you're on a budget and you're just looking for something you can find anywhere, pure protein bar, or if you're in a pinch and you're just, you can find this bar anywhere. Again, though, I really think any of these protein bars, maybe not this one, but these protein bars are all excellent options okay for me again built but i think for most people if you haven't tried bear bell give it a try if you haven't tried one protein bar give it a try these are the top protein bars that you can find without having to go to a supplement store